Having already reviewed the Intel version of the Lenovo Yoga Slim 7 Pro X, we're wondering how much of a change will AMD hardware have on the device, as the rest is pretty much the same, from the build quality to the display selection. The laptop still carries its aluminum chassis with style. The thing is quite light, with a weight of only 1.45 kg and a 15.9 mm profile, while the rounded edges make it feel even thinner in hand. On the base, we find two speaker grills flanking the keyboard. The keys feel good to type on, as the key travel is just enough, while the response is tactile and clicky. The touchpad below is flawless thanks to the glass surface. It's zippy and accurate, so we like it very much. As for the sides, this is where you'll find all the ports. The left side houses one USB Type-A 3.2 Generation 1 port and two USB Type-C 3.2 Generation 2 ports, instead of the Thunderbolt 4 ports on the Intel version. Switch to the right, there's the power button, one more Type-A port, an audio jack, and a switch for the e-shutter on the webcam. We see the same 120Hz 3K IPS panel here, which is a treat to use. At this screen size, content always looks great, while the 415 nit peak brightness makes it usable in all lighting conditions. The 94% sRGB coverage isn't too shabby either, as with it you can certainly use the laptop for any sort of creator work. Just don't forget to pair it with our design and gaming profile for better color accuracy. With it, colors appear true to life, so you don't want to miss it. We'll link it down below. If you plan to watch a lot of movies on the laptop, you'll like the speaker setup, as it provides loud sound with good quality and no major deviations across all frequencies. It's Harman branded as well if that's important to you. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. The big difference between the Intel and AMD versions of the Slim 7 Pro X is the CPU selection, with the Alder Lake H series getting replaced by the Ryzen 6000 HS series, which has a 35 watts base TDP. Here we have the Ryzen 7 6800HS, an 8-core 16-thread part that has slightly worse Cinebench R23 scores than the core i7-12700H in the Intel version. The big improvement with these AMD CPUs is the RDNA 2i GPU, the Radeon 680M which has half of the performance of the 55W RTX 3050, which is simply great. You can even game on it, with AAA titles running at good frame rates even at higher settings. Here's Shadow of the Tomb Raider, running at 39 frames per second on the high preset. For more benchmarks and gaming tests of the Radeon 680M, check out our Laptop Media Benchmarks channel, which has plenty. The CPU also runs relatively cool while performing this well, as the cooling solution with two heat pipes and two fans is enough. The chip runs at around 3.5 GHz on all 8 cores during both long and short runs, which is excellent. Compared to the Intel laptop, which showed some struggle extracting the best performance from the Core i7, here things are much quieter and cooler. In terms of battery life, the 70 watt hours battery pack lasts for 9 hours and 5 minutes of web browsing, or 10 hours of video playback, 3 hours more than the Intel model. Sadly, the RAM is still soldered, offering up to 32GB of LPDDR5 memory. The storage is accessible through one M.2 slot for generation for SSDs. We'll have our teardown video linked below, in case you want to check out how to upgrade the Yoga Slim 7 Pro X.
The AMD version of the Lenovo Yoga Slim 7 Pro X feels like a more balanced device, as you still get plenty of CPU performance, along with a more comfortable device, in terms of temperature and noise. The Radeon 680M also poses a serious threat to a lot of entry-level discrete GPUs. If you've not yet seen the review of the Intel version, we'll have it linked below, as well as our written review of the AMD laptop, which has extra tests and benchmarks.